Gosh, so intimate. Yeah, I feel it. The absolute worst is um, you start to get a little pudgy and you're not quite sure, and then you hit that bump in the car. Oh, dude. And there's a, uh, there's far too many jiggles. My mom had <laughs> <Yeah>, ripples. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, oh, oh, no. <laughs> My mom hit me three times in one vacation with a, like, looks like you're getting a little. And the, the third one, so she hit me, like, once privately. <laughs> like, oh, that's it was worse. a beach vacation. So, yeah, like, yeah. I'm out, you know, sure, she gives me one. And then a second time at the beach. And then I'm, we're back at my home, like, in away from the beach before I go back. And my dad had bought one of those, like, massage chairs that you can go in. <laughs> and I, so I'm, me and my girlfriend are taking turns doing yeah. the massage chair. And I'm in the massage chair. The and my mom walks in. Forming Dude, in my here. mom walks in and goes, Eric, before you go back to Chicago tomorrow, I just wanted to. And then the chair goes like that. And in front of my girlfriend, she just goes, that, that's what I'm worried about. And he walks out. <laughs> hey, if I've learned anything, if six-year-old women have good ideas about anything, it's body positivity. Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 you straight from the south side. Like, 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 uh, I'm just so happy to be here right now. Podcast, podcast, podcast. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to know my? I have a conspiracy theory about okay. the algorithm because speaking of about the algorithm, really? this it's is a, meta. well, it's like here's my theory: is that the way that it works, and I don't know if this is planned or if it's just coincidence. Okay, but it's set up to make it so that anybody who questions the system, the next video suggested mm. is going to be a crazy video, and mm. it'll eventually push them to the point where they can be disregard like if i'm watching a youtube video and i'm watching one that's just like what if we got rid of the federal government because they right. start wars and they take our money and they you know like lock people up for no reason it's uh, yeah. an evil organization and then you go to the next one and it's a fucking white lady being like they i can talk to birds and the pyramids are actually built by aliens mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i'm like oh you're trying to make me go one step too far Mm. So that you can discount the other, and I think that's, that's way it's set up. Mm. That's interesting. It'll just push anybody who goes past the line that they accept to the fringe, and then they can be disregarded because they're like oh. get fed flat Earth. And uh, interesting that you mentioned that. So yesterday, um, so I'm gonna talk around a person that we both know about something that just happened and a <laughs> post that was just made. Ooh. So I'm gonna tap dance, mm -hmm. uh, and so there was a. Big event that just happened in like the last two days. Somebody did something crazy on the internet mm -hmm. for all of us to see. And uh, uh, to drop a hint, um, this young man will not be making any more posts about anything ever again. Um, mm. But this last one was sensational. <laughs> he went out with a bang. <laughs> he, he went out with, yeah, you could kind of say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and... Um, but then somebody that we know from the scene ended up posting about it, right? So mm -hmm. I'm looking at last night w with my old lady, and we're going through uh, the comments, as you do. And it, th at the bottom of the comment section, I was there. Th and, and the comment sections, for the most part, were in line with the, the reel or the message that the, the person who dropped the video made. And then under that, it was like, show hidden comments. And uh, she was like, well, yeah, press on the hidden comments. Press on the hidden comments. It was all the counter comments to if, if you point. weren't in line with the agenda of the thing. And here's the and it said hidden by Instagram. Yeah. Mark you, there was no cuss oh, words. There was no nothing. It was just against the agenda that was presented in the real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, well, and I, it was I, against I, the, the common... I would say the common um, zeitgeist of the yes. day. Yeah, no. yeah. It's uh, <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know what to do about it, but I don't like it. It shocked me just because I it it just hit me like a like a big Egyptian brick. I was like, <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> it was like hidden by Instagram was the first thing that that caught me. Yeah, and then the second thing, it wasn't like punch these kinds of people in the face. It was just like. Hey, what do you mean? I I don't see it this way. That person was probably unstable. Yeah. And Instagram, which it wasn't a guy sitting in a chair going, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. It was the programming. Yeah, that's what's scary. Mm -hmm. That's what I don't yeah, like. Yeah, that's interesting. You know what fucks me up is that I found out recently that TikTok is illegal in China. 
The illegal in the place that makes it? Yeah. No, it's the, it's regular. I don't think it's illegal, but it's heavily regulated. Nah. I don't th- I don't think they use it. I think they have a they have a different one called uh, What I heard was that they have a their algorithm shows their kids trigonometry like math and science and, all that, and trigonometry. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's set up so like if you're under 18, it shuts off after an hour of use every day mm, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, I could be wrong. It could have changed. That's I, the last I hear I heard. tell that their TikTok is showing them how to get across imaginary lines in between countries of uh, America and Southern North America <laughs> if you wanted to cross from one to the other. If you wanted to go check it out, <laughs> first person. <laughs> if you wanted to fly, say, to a Southern country <laughs> in America and then walk into a Northerner country, <laughs> it'll be like, nice. hey, here's how you do it and here's where you go. Just yeah. what I heard on the interwebs. Well, By good. the way, uh, Real Rap Podcast, episode uh, 42. Both these guys have already been on there. So if you want to find out their backstory, go ahead and check. We're going to get back to our conversation. Love you guys. <laughs> uh, like, share, subscribe. But um, like, share, yeah, subscribe. that is the ooh. Yeah. who's who's in charge. Like, wh- wh- who are we making in charge of all this? You got like Sam Altman with like o- open AI. You got wh- whoever's running Google now, the, the Indian gentleman, uh, Jamal. Uh, could you pop a put on on, on screen? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs> who's, who's running Just like Google any, now? It's a poo. <laughs> Jamal, I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> that's inappropriate, Jamal. <laughs> yeah. Jamal, stop being hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take that off the screen, right? That's not at all what I meant. Hari Kondabolu, I'm sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> to do that. You're such a card. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, Cracker Jack, you. <laughs> but, you so, but we never, we never had control over programming, right? It was always... Somebody in charge. What? Why? Why? Why do I feel like I could have trusted whoever was putting Walter Cronkite in the hot seat, and I, now I can't trust? You know, I, I this mm. is. I think it's because nerds. It's nerds are in control now, <laughs> mm-hmm. and they have a devious agenda. Ooh. You remember in not eighties movies? What did nerds do? As soon as they got, they yeah. drill a hole in the girls' locker room and yeah, yeah, Polaroids. Mm. You know, and uh, funny, uh, hilarious naughtiness. But mm-hmm. now, isn't there like a Revenge of the Nerds or one of those old like yeah. tropey nerd ones where the guy like. Like d- definitely took like put on a mask and took like advantage of yeah, a, yeah. yeah yeah which in the eighties we called a Sunday but <laughs> yeah, yeah. in two thousand and eleven it doesn't hold up <laughs> yeah. now they got to find that nerd and get him fired from some IBM. of the overcorrection is appropriate yeah, 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 if we yeah. can be honest yeah 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 <laughs> I feel it's, it's going it's, a little it's, too it's, far <laughs> but some of it is like whoa and that was the eighties it was so not long ago <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, but I was watching something about how nerds are going to like somebody was talking on a podcast about how they're like the special forces are getting phased out. Like we don't need like mm. super jacked, well-equipped ninja Navy SEALs mm. when you got like a guy in Utah who can fly a Predator drone. You know what sure. I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think that same thing kind of applies to uh, government and big business, but not in a good where it's like, yeah, if the if what makes you the CEO mm. of a company all of a sudden it doesn't involve interfacing with shareholders and being charismatic and being mm. a good team leader. It's just the guy with an like, Xbox remote being like sell two billion stock. Yes. AX, up, mm. up, up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're just a scorned, you're like a reclusive scorned man mm. with no objective, but making like massive profits or accruing. Pa- it's like, sure. You know, it, it might be back to the overcorrection idea where you're like, you may, you might nef- not want just like the most hot headed jock in charge of everything, but you also don't want the like most cynical atheist yeah. nerd pulling the strings. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you're absolutely right. You don't want just the the quote unquote nerd, and I don't think nerd has the same connotations it used to have. Yeah, where it's so negative because right now nerd is the rock star. Yeah, nerd mm-hmm. is a dude that's like Makes, living in the yeah. Philippines because it's cheap. And still making a hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year working, yeah. work. He's working twelve hours a and, day, but he loves yeah zeros and ones and and he's whatever. spending that money mm-hmm. on prostitutes that are of age in the Philippines in mm-hmm. the Philippines, and you can't get him on that here. But at they're the, of <laughs> an age; they have yeah. age. Yeah, <laughs> but there's still there's They've still the there still has to be room for analog, right? Because you're absolutely right. I don't think. The new the new Navy SEAL is gonna be it's gonna be crazy, especially in ten years when the for real last guy. So you take somebody like Robert J O'Neill. Mm-hmm. He's the one that was uh, credited with taking out Bin Laden, right? Yeah, yeah. On that raid, 
And I even watched his podcast a few times, and I was fascinated by him. So I checked out a lot of his interviews, and I think he has a podcast now. Um, and to hear him talk, like, he's an affable guy. Yeah. Like, it feels like you could sit down with him. Chop, you know, you watch, like, UFC fighters, you're like, oh, I can hang out with that guy. Yeah. That dude probably has problems. He yeah. probably yeah. had a troubled past. And when the switch, like, if somebody slams a door and he just punches you in your esophagus <laughs> uh-huh. out of reflex, uh-huh. you're like, oh, I get it now. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're not the same. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Robert O'Neill is talking, and he... Um, uh, he's recounting stories. Of course, he talks about the Bin Laden raid, if you believe in that kind of thing. <laughs> um, but he's saying, like, when they used to do just night raids, because he was on, he was not only on the uh, Bin Laden uh, raid, but he was also on the Captain Sully raid. And, like, a few, the, like, he he's best buddies with the, like, Zero Dark Thirty Wait, and the Phillips? Lone Survivor. Yeah, he was oh, like. I thought you were talking about Sully Sullenberg, the guy who landed in the Hudson. <laughs> no, he was the one. Was he rain. was the one yeah. that threw the bird into the engine. Yeah, to yeah, bring yeah. it down. It was it was black ops. Just a, a, go- <laughs> a goose in camo. He's got a slingshot. He's like, let's make America a hero again. <laughs> he was he was Mr. Glass. Uh-huh. <laughs> There's another 9/11. Someone slammed a door. <laughs> yeah, but he's talking about they used to go on raids, and he. Um, he walked into he walked into a room and this this one of the guys was asleep with his old lady and he had an AK next I to saw him. This. Yeah, and he was and he, he came in and the guy woke up to see like a a a, a, a black ninja with four green eyes mm-hmm. and a gun pointed at him and it, he's just w- waking up to this with his old lady next to him and a gun over here and in a split second he's like P- please don't pick up that gun bro please 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 mm-hmm. and the guy did what I, I mean if you're in that mode did what yeah yeah off a reflex picked it up and he killed him and and the guy robert was robert o'neill was sitting there like you know if i would have met him some other time like was he cool was he yeah. funny yeah and like mm-hmm. what do you like would we have made each other laugh at a bar or yeah. some shit you know what i mean mm-hmm. and it's like that is a motherfucker but if you're sitting in a bunker in tucson arizona F- flying a dr- and you just drop and then you go home yeah. and you're on your couch flying a predator drone doing the exact same thing with 4k footage that looks like what you were doing all day yeah mm-hmm. when is your brain even yeah yeah making yeah. those connections yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 it's a uh it's what was i gonna say ah oh, shit i had a good point i don't remember what it was It'll come back to me. Yeah. But Being that's in interesting. the moment. Yeah. No, watch that. I up. also like that like the world's mm-hmm. gotten fucked up to the point where we're like, what are happening guys just being in the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Savoring the time. Like you <laughs> want to feel happened. the blood of yeah. your enemy trickle watch, down. Watch your a brain. man's life end in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> Get off of TikTok. Yeah. It's so much more healthy than oh, doing shit. it online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you, aren't people going out and killing each other uh-huh. in person anymore? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, is yeah. it is it possibly better to switch to cyber? Because when I think about watching like Saving Private Ryan and the whole shh with the knife scene it's mm-hmm. like oh yeah, yeah it's dark nah. i mean like if it gets so far that it's just too like we just have each other's like robot armies going at mm-hmm. each other then it's like yeah but then you're like well if there's if it's all robots why not use a nuke because you're not going to kill anybody and then yeah. the planet's in it mm-hmm. it's all dark i think war is bad wasn't there just a, <laughs> um, a phone like a pretty decent phone outage in on like the east coast yeah maybe last like at&t a week ago. went down for like yeah everybody in a region oh really for what happened well uh, some lost. people would say you know it's technology and sometimes yeah. it goes whoop and some <laughs> people would say other people that don't like us were like hey let's see if this works Bing. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah it yeah. does test program <laughs> <Yeah>. alpha <laughs> you know it's crazy i had um do you remember when um everyone in Hawaii got that message that there was a nuclear missile yeah. coming. I had a couple friends who were from Hawaii who were in Hawaii, got the message, just sat on the beach, waited for it all to end. Mm. I don't think I think I would immediately jack off. I don't think I'd have any <laughs> just, You'd be like, I, the guy I, I fuck, like fuck. your skeleton's frozen <laughs> like this in a bathtub. Just call my girlfriend. <laughs> like a but, feral orangutan. I just call my girlfriend. I'm like, oh, we gotta break up. I'm gonna fuck someone hotter. <laughs> I, got, I don't even know. I just gotta try. <laughs> Here's a legit question. If your girlfriend was over there, she gets the thing, she thinks a nuke's coming. And she just fucks the stranger like openly on the street because they think it's the end of the world. Ooh, I'm yeah. like, hey, get and a leaf, she, get a hammock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then she calls you and is like, "Hey, I uh, I thought I was gonna die, and in like my final moments, like 
Everyone, and you get the Amber Alert. Yeah. Crisis, <laughs> crisis averted. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, hey, you know what? Take responsibility. You're a 13 year old Filipino girl, <laughs> and I cannot take this. I'm going How did you get away from it. your handler? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> did well, Pedro let you out of the cage. Huh? <laughs> oh my god. Did did either one of you check out the uh uh Tucker Carlson um Vladimir Putin? I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you did you F- have a fill chance? me in? I did not I, I noticed that Tucker Carlson looked much larger in the images than <laughs> he was sitting closer <laughs> yeah, to the camera. Yeah, the, <laughs> but what what are the highlights? I didn't check it out. Mm. I mean there were, I didn't there were, uh, to me there weren't a lot of highlights from it other than that I thought it was like good that somebody went over and was like, I'm just going to interview somebody from the other side. Like, I think that's a dialogue is super a good important. thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then immediately he's wandering around Russia being like, how come their supermarkets are so clean? And you're yeah. like, uh, you know uh-huh. what I mean? Like he, I, th- I, I had this thought, which was that he is, uh, I'm getting my dick sucked for free. What's <laughs> going on? What's going on? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> it's Svetlana, a, can you explain? It's it's a, the gay people don't exist here. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's exactly right. That's exactly what the problem is, which is like, because I thought that I, what I think is a, the problem is that mm. he just got like overly scorned here. So like, there's quite kind of a reactionary yeah. thing. Yeah, to like, yeah, well, yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna because I thought him doing the interview was like that's brave, and yeah, even though I'm never, I mean, I've never been the biggest Tucker Carlson fan. Mm-hmm. Sure, or he's gotten better on a lot of things like he's been anti-war the last two years or whatever. It's like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. That's good. Yeah, a step in the right direction. That's good. But. uh what do you call it? That was, and then he, but yeah, but then he's like, "How come Russian subway stations are so much cleaner than ours?" And you can make an argument that it's like, well, we do pay, that we have the most expensive mm-hmm. government that we pay the most for. Yeah. So why isn't our life better? But the short answer to the Russian thing is like, there's a violent cadre of Cossack policemen who will mm. like violently beat and whip drug addicts until right. they're like. You know what yeah. I mean? So you're like, yeah. So Kyle Rittenhouse doesn't have to. Yes, it's yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> Their tax dollars might be used more efficiently to the violent <laughs> gang. Of yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so thought experiment. Yeah. Where we feel, I think, for the most part, even innately, if you don't feel it overtly, because patriotism is is all but dead, um, in major cities anyway. Yeah. But um. So a lot of people would innately feel like, hey, America is number one to me because I'm from here. Mm -hmm. So let's say if another country that practices another type of government, let's just call it communism. Sure. (laughs) And Mm -hmm. they have a bigger GDP. They have, you know, a better economy. They have more people. Uh, their people are smarter when it comes to you know test mm-hmm. exams and everything like that, and and they're taking over. At what point in time, even though we're from here, so there's a bias, would you say maybe they're if they're winning everything, maybe they're right? It feels I wrong. Might, I if, might say never because, because I might be too here, biased, right. but I don't think that it, that I think there's an objective way to be like what. Uh, do those countries have that we don't besides the government? And in mm. most cases, first of all, I would say that there's no country that's like technically beating us in that. Like I understand this is a hypothetical. So it's, but, sure, like, yeah, yeah. Mm. but like the countries that people point to when they're like democratic socialism seems to be working really well for Finland. And you're like, probably because it's like there's 90% the same religion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's everyone gets all the same. Caribou. <laughs> yeah. It's very, it's all the same race. It's all the same religion. Yeah. It's very few people. You know what I mean? And so yeah. you're like to get that group of people to agree on, you know what I mean? Like if there's like, if there's like us three in a basement and we have to vote on a lead, like any one of us could be the leader of this basement and have a pretty good idea of what the other two yeah. want to happen. Yeah. And in Finland, that's pretty easy because if you if it's a hundred Lutheran white guys in an igloo or whatever the fuck and they vote on one guy, Mm -hmm. it's like, oh, that guy has had pretty much the same life as me. So if I put him in charge, he's probably going to make decisions that like. Yeah. And like China, I think in a on a darker because I don't like the way that they handle their government. But Mm. it is, you know, I mean, like it's still all Chinese. You know what I mean? It's still all like very culturally connected in a way that the u.s is not it's dispersed and so i would like i'll take a lower standard of living if it means that somebody from california or somebody from montana doesn't get to tell me what to do 
Yeah, yeah. And that's not really an issue in other places because the California and Montana and China are more similar. Yeah, exactly. If that makes sense. I wonder I wonder how many of them uh how many people in say China or say Russia or say North Korea whatever yeah. are like, yeah, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there I, has I, to be some. Well, I will say yeah. they're all like that, but th- I don't know if they feel it. They just sure. can't not say it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's uh it's tough to get a good gauge. I mean, North Korea, obviously, but like... I mean, of course, there's people that don't like it because there's people over here that don't like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the difference... Well, I shouldn't... I say people who don't like the U.S. disappear suspiciously less often than people who... A lot less often. Yes, I can't handle is, the idea of a guy in North Korea being happier than me. That makes sense. <laughs> he's like, he's taking a piss bath, <laughs> eating, g- eating grass, and he's like, oh, yeah. You know what? I'm grateful, yeah. and I've got my fucking apartment and my dog. I'm like, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah, oh my god! <laughs> it, is it his comedy career is going better? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, what's the deal with grass biscuits? Yeah, they're all I've eaten. Oh Everyone's like, yes, that's so true. It's so relatable. <laughs> I'm nervous of any place that doesn't have comedy, stand-up comedy, or whatever their version of yeah. Whatever their version of in living color is, if they didn't have it, it's yeah. it's a it's a real bummer. Yeah, in, yeah. in dying color. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> in, <laughs> in starving color. The color brown. It's just everything's dirt. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Do you think th- does does it feel in 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 your world, your atmosphere, Harry? Does it feel like the end is nigh? Or is it like, you know, it's it's another Hopefully, day. Hopefully, Mike. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean, my dad always used to say that everyone always thinks the world is ending. In there. And then he died world. horribly. So he might... <laughs> oh. maybe, maybe everyone was... <laughs> so... Hmm. Jesus. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's with Jesus now. But um, I don't know. It does seem like it. The, the term water wars makes me nervous. You know, mm. people say we're going to start running out of water and then we have to fight over water. That seems that seems like the bad one. But it, I, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts about the last 24 to 36 hours in Chicago, because yesterday it was 72 degrees. Mm. And then by the end of the day, we had a tornado warning because a cold front moved in mm. and then it was 50 degrees um, cooler today which is wild 72 in february but and then it, snow and then as it's happening mm-hmm. the the climate change doesn't really bother me that much <laughs> mm-hmm. but the, the idea of it in the future like oh more inclement weather i'm like it's it's i i'm not really that bothered by it as it's happening i'm just more scared of it getting worse yeah and then as it gets worse i'll just keep adjusting to it i don't know mm. yeah I, 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 I say one word starts with a j ends with an ooze <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> you're one step further down the algorithm than i am they're still mad about building those pyramids <laughs> they won't stop until they're eroded away i get it you know, you know they say at the end of the universe there's some jews not controlling the media <laughs> <laughs> i know it's all made up <laughs> Clim- so climate change by accident or on purpose is is the is the query um climate change i think things are changing but um does it bother me that much i don't know it Uh, seems like it's definitely started to become noticeable yeah and it it makes me sort of hopeful i'm like okay this is it the water is warm i'm sort of sinking up to it Mm. i think bangladesh and tuvalu are gonna get squished but i think i think we'll be okay for a little while i mean people have uh, It'd be easier for me to, and I, I, you know, I got no, I don't know one way or the other, but since I was in high school, people have told me this is the last 10 years. Mm. Right. Because of climate change. And in my Did mind. Did you know my like, dad in high school? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, like the last 10 before it can never yeah. be reversed. People are like, don't move to New York. It's going to be underwater in 10 right. years. Yeah. And that's been 30 years. You know what I mean? Or whatever. And not to discount that it may or may not be mm. the case, but mm-hmm. it's been like, um, I, I haven't just gotten a, f- I haven't, nothing, even this big 50 degree drop, I'm like, 
somebody would have to like show me the charts saying that this has like never happened in the history of the earth for me mm. to be like fuck it's happening now you know what i mean like yeah. i think a lot of people would say that those charts already exist and then there's going to be other people that say those people are wrong and here's some charts that say this, yeah that's a, a problem yeah yeah I, I had a the only teacher in my high school who had a phd he had a phd in snails he taught our mm. uh astronomy class that's not what you should teach when you have a snail phd <laughs> yeah 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 he, he had a, he had a <laughs> sounds like a slow process yeah he had a snail like brain he had a, <laughs> so he had a slimy ass brain but mr frankie he did. He was a great teacher, very charismatic. Uh, he tried to suck. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. But if he lets you call him Mr. and his first name, then uh-huh. that is an oddball, right? Mr. There. Frankly, I might kiss you right now. <laughs> um, but he did this whole thing um, about how solar flares can cause random fluctuations in temperature. And he ended the class by saying he doesn't bl- he doesn't see any evidence for global warming. He thinks it could just be random fluctuation. And it, it, it was interesting having a, a teacher um, tell me that because, yeah, there is always evidence for the others. Sometimes I like to believe that and just be like, maybe all the libtards are wrong. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you know what? Yeah. I heard this, whatever, news that it freaked me out because it just means that no matter what the actual answer is, I'm now in a place where I don't feel like I'll ever believe. You yeah. Because, I mean? like, do you guys remember the story about the... CNN or NBC. I don't remember. It was a guy who worked for CNN or NBC and uh, his Tinder date recorded his conversation. Uh, and he was like, you know, we got Trump impeached. That is was that us. guy. He, he like he like mm. fakes to he, he he fakes being. Wait, uh, that's a guy just trying to get pussy. He's like, yeah, yeah. I got him. Out well, I think was, was <laughs> well, he, he goes, faking to be gay, right? I don't, I, not in this story, I don't think, because okay. it was a girl, I, I could be wrong, I think it was a girl that recorded him. Or it might be goes, the same guy, and he just keeps, like, going to, like, Congress or whatever, <laughs> and just dating whoever. What, but what he said, at, part of the recorded conversation, to my understanding, was like, we purposefully made a choice to not report on anything except for Trump to get him, to get people upset mm, so he'd be impeached yeah. and he goes now that he's out the next thing that we're going to do is russia collusion and climate change mm. and interesting so it's one of those things where you're like well fuck man now i don't know now i don't know you know what i mean like mm. if you're doing this as like a pre-planned way to manipulate the population yeah. Then now I'm going to be now I'm going to be the weird guy at parties whenever my yeah. girlfriend's like my girlfriend the, the other day was like climate change is crazy isn't this scary and I'm just like well technically if you look at the study yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you know what I mean and you're like I don't want to be that guy I just like to objectively know what was going on but now I know that you're trying to find a way to make whatever the issue is true or false mm. a means to manipulate your base to yeah. action I can't trust it anymore it's fucking fucked up I, w- Stop it, CNN. Cut mm-hmm. it out. Stop it, you guys. CNN. <laughs> when it comes Climate to- no-no. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what political philosophy leaves one the happiest. Because I feel like if I didn't believe in climate change and I was just mad at non-binary people, I might be a little happier. Mm-hmm. No, I might be people a are, hopeful. Here's the problem. Those guys are... Uh, probably more mad actually at non-binary people than liberals are actually upset about climate change they're very red faced. that's people. the other yeah. thing is, is the the, <laughs> all, the extra labeling that goes on now i i uh, before we get to that when it comes to the damn climate change it's hard for me to put my get my sympathy boner nice and and up for it just because mm-hmm. anybody even the ones that complain I, it, it should be impossible for me to hear you complain about it if you're motivated to do something about it because you would be in a cabin in the woods with no cell phone and no mode of transportation outside of a horse. <laughs> Otherwise, you're complaining about something you're contributing to. Yeah, but people do. I think it's, you're holding people to too high of a standard there. You know what I mean? Because like, I, compl- like, I would say I take a pretty good... like. I don't know, anti-child molesting stance, but I also don't d- quit but my job. But I've also been to the Philippines to, a few times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, but I won't quit my job and you're like, not patrol the streets. Arrest. Yes. Sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah. if every single person on planet Earth is going, some somebody should do something about this. Yeah. And some people say it loud and some people say it quiet, then what's what's the difference? There's, this theory, I, I've, uh, there's a book called Sapiens about the... Um, 
the evolution of the human race, basically. And they sort of link the problem of not being able to escape that back to the agricultural revolution. Mm. A lot of people, you know, pin the industrial revolution as like our big mistake because there's so much like coal and pollution and we're removed from the means of production. But in the agricultural revolution, that's when we moved to farming and we moved away from foraging. And once that happened, everyone just becomes dependent on like a larger system controlled by, well, not controlled by a few people, but there's a couple people making food for everyone. And then we can't really be independent after that. For us all to move to the woods is like going pre-agricultural revolution. I would die immediately in the woods. Mm. I would get diarrhea and I would just, I'm like four. I got diarrhea now. I hate to tell you. (laughs) All that work has been for nothing. But is is everybody, (laughs) everything's cause and effect, right? You got Carnegie, Vanguard, Rockefeller, fucking Edison. They contribute all these things. You got a light bulb. So now you can work at nighttime. You got railroads, you got gasoline, kerosene, you got all this, all this stuff. And it has byproducts, but we enjoy all the benefits. Mm-hmm, Which mm-hmm. after a while, you go, maybe I shouldn't dump crude oil <laughs> into, yeah. into mm-hmm. lakes, into ri- Maybe I shouldn't pollute St. Louis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's not go that far, Mike. St. Louis is doing just fine. <laughs> they are a rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> no, but what else can what else can you do? Like most people think. Maybe not most. I don't know why I'm I'm doing my holier than thou thing, but like these cell phones operate, you know, on Wi-Fi. They seem magical, yeah. But they're running on hard drives that are sucking up ridiculous amounts mm-hmm. of entire skyscrapers filled with fans. Just taking uh, how much electricity that has to be used, just like any other electric source. And but it's easy to just get on your phone and say we should do something about all this consumption. I do. I I do. I I think everyone's entitled to their dread, but there is a certain posturing that goes on that does bother me. Yeah, like, we might be overexposed as comedians too, because I think it's a crutch mm-hmm. when somebody's like, "Well, I don't like you know, ha, I don't know." I feel like the last five oh, years yeah. I've seen a lot of comedians being like, "Well, it's the end of the world, so what do I care if I get AIDS?" Or yeah, and you're like. Yeah. We're is it the end of the world, or is that just very convenient like, for do you somebody who has is... AIDS? Yeah. That's a very specific point. Yeah, yeah. I think that there's something <laughs> kind of sinister, and it, kind of, it probably doesn't stop at comedy, but it, where it's like, oh, isn't it mighty convenient that it's actually the end of the world for you guys now? So it doesn't really matter Everybody. if you are if you get a job oh, yeah. or if you like do good in college. You're like, well, it doesn't matter because the world's ending. You're like. Mm. You just bombed for ten minutes. Do you just want? <laughs> yeah. Do you just want the world You're to end? Skewed right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 I think yeah, you might yeah. just want the world to end because it means that you don't have to write a better punchline. Of course, I, well, don't all of us just believe somebody down the road is going to be smart enough to figure it out? Yeah, and you just keep your fingers crossed. Yeah, how stu- I would feel so stupid if like. Yeah, some magnanimous figure comes along and like fixes everything. I'm like, I spent my entire life in dread. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, I would, I would feel so embarrassed. Well, it's I like, feel like asking me to invent like the space shuttle that makes it to Mars. Yell at me all you want. I'm not mm-hmm. the guy that's gonna figure it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's all get yeah. together as a group, hold hands, and just pray and wish <laughs> and make for us, the right yeah. person to come along to figure it out <laughs> it starts with a j and it ends with an ooh. let's <laughs> the make ooh. them do it again the double-edged <laughs> sword <laughs> you're controlling the weather yeah. uh-huh. stop it from being horrible why make get it, us it to mars it's too windy to get to mars because of you guys <laughs> and your non-christian bathrooms <laughs> <laughs> those sideburns are aerodynamic yeah yeah I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That'd be fun. Now I'm picturing like a go-go gadget Jewish Hasidic guy who just spins around and then his hair turns into a helicopter. The more you look at go-go gadget, was he? <laughs> <laughs> he might have been. <laughs> <laughs> he just owned an apartment building in uh, Williamsburg. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Matthew Broderick went from Ferris Bueller to Inspector Gadget. Oh, was he Inspector Gadget? I never watched. Yeah. I never actually watched Inspector Gadget. I never watched it. I just remember that. 
I'm going to use my pocket knife to take the label off this so I don't accidentally advertise it. I just want to let everybody know. Okay. Oh. I feel like it's going to be bizarre if I just whip out the pocket knife. We got to get anything. clicks. Put it on there and do a spinning back kick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> start, start, label. start cutting me. <laughs> this is a nihilist <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Are you guys taking in any steps to prepare in case there's in case massive the societal end? collapse? I mean, we're we're in Chicago. Like, if it all goes... So, if the internet... If the internet stops, if internet and power goes out yeah. mm-hmm. for more than 36 hours. Yeah. You think it's just in, fucked? In, in Chicago. But, I mean, but so, I'm saying you're not like, because I am uh, as casually and as recreationally as possible, like just being like, I'd like to have the supplies that it takes to like get me and my girlfriend mm. like to Wisconsin. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. In a way where it's not, I'm not overdoing it, but I'm like. Right, I'm gonna get. A, I'm gonna have a little propane. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a little yeah. poncho, and I'm, I'm trying to write a joke mm-hmm. about it. So if you guys see this on stage later, don't fucking hang me or whatever. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I do think it's uh, what's definitely gonna happen is it's all gonna be for nothing when I try and sneak my oh, <laughs> my you, girlfriend over the border. Well, no, I was gonna say like my girlfriend's just in a yellow rain jacket with a rolling suitcase, Ooh. and I'm like, <laughs> you're giving us away right now. You know, my friends. <laughs> none of my friends have said I'm in their apocalypse crew. I'm like, I'm the brains. And they're like, what do you know how to do? And I'm like, I'm the comic relief. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if the lights flicker in my house, I try to kill myself. I try to try. (laughs) I live on the second story and I'm like, heads first. Head first. And then the TV flickers back on. You're like, whoo, okay. I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know about survival. Like, I'm legitimately still trying to work on having breakfast once a week. Like, I am so close to death. (laughs) Even Even though I think Stephen King is like the traditional nerd. Um, I read The Stand, and boy, it doesn't look good. I mean, it wasn't a biography or whatever, but still, it's, I mean, you really think about So the, in, in The Stand, it was a, a global pandemic, mm-hmm. and it mm-hmm. was taken out like uh, like one out, of a, 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 one out of a million people would survive or whatever. But then it, you're just talking about gridlocked roads, yeah. and then you're just savages. Then you, it's just the Book of Eli. You're just walking mm-hmm. around, and everybody's going. To, so the, the power and uh, Wi-Fi, your phone stops working, power stops working. We still got water, yeah. But, the but thing, then everybody, yeah. anybody that has the capability is running to all the food sources. You remember pandemic starts, all the toilet tissues gone immediately, yeah. alcohol. Yeah. So everything's off the shelves. Yeah. Mark you, that's when the insanity starts because nobody's going to be, all right, everybody in a line, stand at the register. We're still mm-hmm. using those green little pieces of paper. Yeah. No, no, no. It's going to be mayhem out there. So that's where the first, that's where the first murders occur. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then... After that, it's all right. Who has things that hurt and kill other people? Mm-hmm. And then they do the Lord of the Flies. <laughs> Everyone's already got the food. I'm just masturbating. I'm like, fuck, I got to think of a better. <laughs> I'm going to start kn- getting hungry soon. I knew I'd do this. Yeah. I'm losing all my protein. Everyone's going through nicotine withdrawal, yeah. too. That's yeah. going to be tough. That's going to be a tough one. I mean, without the hope of some authority figure getting on the mass. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Mm. But you don't have you don't have like a a plan to like get out to a cabin in I think Wisconsin. I've heard or something your plan like before. Mm. I got a decent. I think it's a decent. I mean, it's not yeah. a really. It's not a very well mm. thought out plan. But like, my girlfriend's family has a cabin on a lake in Wisconsin. I don't. I don't have the address. Yeah. God, I hope my girlfriend has that address. And this, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is assuming that it's clear sailing. Perfect. No, I don't. Roads. I don't. I don't think it's clear sailing. But it's like. I like I have technically the gear that like, would be like required mm. for us to like drive if it's gridlocked walk. Mm-hmm. You know what Oof. I mean? Like you need a map. You see a bunch of Hasidic Jews flying by with their helicopter. Yeah. Hair. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Fuck. Look my girlfriend's it. Jewish. So she just flies <laughs> yeah. away, and I'm you're, you're like spinning her. She's like, this is they're very eating offensive. each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or I'd like. I mean, like I'd like to go back to North Carolina, like in the event of an yeah. apocalypse, to be like close to my. But I mean, like. You know, I think just, it goes to mayhem before. I, but that, I don't though. but I mean like it's not about whether or not it goes to mayhem. It's about being like, can mm. I covertly move me and the people I care about Oof. out of the city in time? Mm. I live on the edge of the city. Like I think Evanston Evanston goes to mayhem after a little later. Chicago. You know what I mean? So it's oh, like yeah. if if I just use that as a thing. It's like if the power's been out for mm. if the power's been out for two days. 
and then I look out of my window and you see like the Sears Tower on fire. You're like, yeah, babe, Sick. grab all the canned goods out of the thing. We're going to follow the lake north. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah, yeah. those kind of things where it's like I'm just running that program in the back of my head every couple of days to be like, I got a uh, poncho. I got rain mm. boots. I got. Uh, you know what I mean? Like my neighborhood would be devoured. I live in Logan Square. I just think that gentrification, the tides would be reversed, and people would know where the weak v- people yeah. are. You'd be I subject to the immediate. whims of vegan cupcake lord. Yeah, well, I think <laughs> vegan cupcake lord is immediately getting slaughtered by who? Yeah. By the people who are still in Logan Square that have slowly been being pushed out. I you think. think I think it just take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I used to live here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think. Uh, I think it I think it doesn't take too long before it turns into prison rules which mm-hmm. is I'm just holding I'm, Mike's pocket. I'm strong, <laughs> I have the 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 best weapon. Uh-huh. I'm in charge and we're on teams now. And since I'm in charge, I pick the teams. <laughs> I just yeah. what, what what team do you say you're with? Oh, I don't like that team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kill him, take yeah. his resources. I'm and really his girl. glad you kept talking before I said white guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A- A- Arians. Arians. <laughs> if, if, if the water even starts to go out for 10 minutes, I'm knocking yeah. all my front teeth out. I'm like, huh? Prison rules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But even if you say white guys, I mean, these days, they'll be like, what do you think about Bud Light? <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 we're getting <laughs> like, Oh, shit, that's tricky. Dude, did you, did you watch Shane Gillis before the world ended? <laughs> Pretty sick. It was good. Pretty sick. <laughs> I like the Shane Gillis part, not the rainbow yeah. part. If the guy asking you whether or not you get into the compound is going like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Like, okay, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, all right, I know how to gauge. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, I would eat someone. You would eat somebody? Pretty Quick, easy. day one, like, just to build up a little immunity? I, I, I think it's a social thing, except for prions. You know, you can get mad cow disease. Yeah, you don't want to eat the brain. Insane. So but you're not even waiting like 4 or 5.30? No, 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 I'm not. I'm like, no, you, you're you're gonna know because like, if even if the lights are off in my room, I'll be eating out my girlfriend and then just chewing a little bit, just sort of testing the, <laughs> the water. Yeah. Ow! Huh? What was okay, that? Just yep. trying trying a new technique. I don't know. I'm just whispering. Oh, Seems like a surge. Yeah. Starts with J, ends with ooh. She's mine. <laughs> oh, bitter. Yeah, yeah. It. Uh, the only way I eat pussy is mm. cannibalism. That's the, kind, that's the kind of man oh, I am. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, I think I, I really truly don't think I would be a survivor, but I'm not I'm not I'm okay. If anyone survive the idea of anyone surviving makes me a little happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it you want to contribute. Be me. I mean, it's one of the things where it's like, yeah, you don't like look, if we went back to pre agriculture as you were alluding to before, like mm-hmm. It's not like, I mean, even the idea of survival, if you break it down, is like, I mean, nobody lives forever. So what are you fighting for? Mm-hmm. And you're, so you got to make it like, what? Well, boy, I'd like it. I'd like to make live long enough to like have a kid or to get sure, my girlfriend yeah. to safety or mm-hmm. to like establish a new, then whatever the next government's going to go to the Philippines. Kind of yeah, yeah, get yeah, to the yeah. Philippines. Uh-huh. That'd, be, that'd be, that's actually would be very funny if in like a walking dead scenario, you meet somebody like. Just a fellow wastelander mm-hmm. on the road. And you're like, so what goals do you have? And they're like, I want to see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> and you're like, you know, planes have been gone for like 30 years now. I know, but I think yeah, it'd just be great. Really I'd like to try a croissant <laughs> en Paris. <Yeah. laughs> Maybe the Eiffel Tower in Vegas? We could do yeah, that. We might want to get you there. In uh-huh. Spain, they say gracias. Yeah, gracias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to have an empanada in, in España. <laughs> So, I mean, at some point in time, it's it's a decent chance if we don't all blow each other up. Yeah. There's a decent chance in our lifetime we'll see, like, the first people, like, shove off to Mars or whatever, right? Yeah. And then, like, at some point, at some po- it's so far away that at some point they're, they're just them. Yeah. And then we yeah. send, like, a message and go, send us all the tax money for the tea. And they go, you know what? This no. is a great movie. Yeah. We're our own. Has somebody thing done this? Now. That's the smartest idea for a sci-fi movie. That's so original. The, 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 the dumping <laughs> tea in space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, like a thousand years from now, Mars revolts against. Yeah, they. I mean, they would. The they pl- would have to. That would be such a good I idea. Even, I don't even. Think I might go home and write that. I don't That's even very good. think <laughs> that was the actual <laughs> property of Michael Knight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Serves as a verbal contract on yeah. video. Man. We're suing the and, shit out of him. And also, Harry Jensen gets part of it. Harry Jensen. It's also in on it, but it, it's 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 what 
a generation and a half removed from them going, hey, you, you might be from Earth, but I was born here. I'm from here. This is my place. Mm-hmm. I don't like your old ways. We're yeah. doing things our way. And um, uh, who killed Atticus mm-hmm. Fitch over there? The Martians uh, Who killed like, Atticus yeah. Fitch Jr. over there? Uh, death to yeah. death to Earth. <laughs> that, it would be good because the Martians could be like, we never did slavery. You know, they could <laughs> yeah. immediately start they over would. and be uh, like, they'd be like, that was not us. But yeah. it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be the 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 us people that went over there. Yeah. It would be the them people. They're snotty little fucking next generation. They're, they're, yeah. they're, they're hunks of garbage. I like that kids. you're starting to see things from the British perspective yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. <laughs> you, we gave you the boats. Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. We financed the expedition. Yeah, yeah. You should be paying us taxes. <laughs> oh, tell ho <laughs> Most unbecoming. <laughs> Charlie Roger. Yeah. Bob's your uncle. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, how long? It, it doesn't take long before they're like, no, we're doing things That's our way. Cool. That's a good and and then very interesting. What do they do? I mean, how many? They'd still they'd still be us. They're just them. Yeah, yeah. They're, they'd be they'd, Chinese or whatever. They'd be a little yeah. bit lighter and shit because whatever. All it's that exactly the same shit. as what happened when humanity left Africa. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then eventually get, be like, fuck, they're coming back. They're whiter than ever and they're yeah, mad yeah, as yeah. hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then uh, God damn it. I mean, do they do? The, does it end up being a copycat, or do they like? Do they pick one of the systems from here that maybe we're like? Mm, probably that's, that's the choice you went with. Yeah, probably. I, I mean, it's part of our time. You can't imagine a much different system, but it would probably be not unlike now or the apocalypse. Might be AI be a strong driven. guy. Mm. You think they go AI? AI driven government? Yeah. Where they're like, we just load all the options into the oh mainframe yeah. and it makes the smartest decision. Oh, that'd be awesome. If it's like the Matrix, but like instead of you know how in the Matrix they're using people's mental energy or whatever yeah. in this little pot. What if AI is like oh, we need everyone's cum. So we're all <laughs> we're all in like dick sucking <laughs> oh. we're all in dick sucking <laughs> machines. And like no 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 no. Oh. No, 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 red pill, red pill. That's the worst <laughs> matrix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boner pill, blue yeah, yeah. pill, yeah, blue, blue chew, blue chew. Blue chew. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be a private company planet though. Like the dude, the dude that's oh, at the, so- the tip of the spear of getting us there mm-hmm. owns a private company. He has a company that's traded on the stock market. Yeah, that would be. And so- then hey, the guy in number two. Let me spot? tell you, you're one YouTube short away from realizing U.S. government's I a private can't. company at this point, brother. I Fair can't. enough. I can't wait to go to Amazonia. <laughs> You yeah, know, yeah, that's what Mars is going to be. That's renamed. what the planets are. Yeah. That's what the st- the countries are going to be. It's going to mm-hmm. be d- d- uh, Tesla Vania, Tesla Vania, and mm-hmm. Emma. Oof, Volkswagensburg. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 Jesus. yeah. That'll be awesome. Yeah, it'd be fun. It's like all the all the countries are now c- companies, but they're still shitty com- Like the way you'd be like. Yeah, I don't really want to live in Myanmar. Is the same way somebody's like. Yeah, yeah, dude, I do not want to live in Hyundai. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He lives in Hyundai yeah. Park. Ooh, Ooh, yikes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, we don't really talk about Huawei. They do things weird over there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. My brother, Alibaba's cool, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> my brother's actually doing mi- uh, missionary work in Burger King land right now. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> He's building wells over there in Windy World. It would literally... It, no, I mean, it'll be something like a horror movie, though, too, because it takes a while. Like, it's far enough away that it takes a while for, like, communications to go back and forth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they're just doing stuff, and you're getting the news however much mm-hmm. later. Yeah. And it's like, ah. Unless it gets hyper, you know what I mean? Unless they figure out some sort of hyper speed thing, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which would be. But, you know, that would I Dude, the idea of a movie where it's Mars rebelling against Earth. And Mars plays the role of the 13 colonies. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. back then it was the same way. It's like when you write the destina- uh, the Declaration of Independence, it takes a month for it to get oh, yeah. shipped back over there or whatever. Yeah. If you wrote, that's mm-hmm. such a cool yeah. sci fi movie that's, for like yeah. Mars to declare their independence mm. and it takes 30 years for the ship to get back there and the guy gets off. He's like, I got bad. It's Benjamin Franklin, but he's got green antennas or whatever yeah 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 because you can you can go ahead and 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 noah's ark it right and yeah. take two of everybody yeah throw them mm-hmm. out there the brightest minds or whatever all right guys uh go ahead and populate 
and don't play too close with your first cousins. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, here's all the coolest shit that we got. Start agriculture. We we kickstarted the atmosphere. Have fun and uh, don't forget to write. And then uh, you're isolated. You're the first doing whatever. Mm -hmm. you, and and then egos take control. What space madness takes control? Mm -hmm. Mar whatever book you read with yeah. Matthew McConaughey <laughs> or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you start to lose it. And then whoever's the authority person, do you send them over there with weapons? All right, yeah. you don't send them over there with weapons, but whoever's over there has the knowledge of weapons. They got some cool ass three D printer. Mm -hmm. yeah. They got Chat GBT forty four, <laughs> and you just bleh, 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 and now all of a sudden they got what? And and the mm -hmm. whole time we're getting a message. I don't know a week later, four days later. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's just ah, <laughs> send somebody. Uh, they got to figure out that whole like you you go to sleep and then just wake up three months later. Yeah, no, cry yeah. sleep. Uh, yeah, cool, my legs still work. And then you just you yeah, pop out the goo shit. for yeah. some reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're suspended in fluid or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love that. I would love that. I think really depressed people would sign up then. They'd be like, all right, a year off my life. I'll just go to bed. Nap. Yeah. yeah. Well, so are you guys comfortable talking to like your girlfriends about no. previous <laughs> about their previous uh, partners? Um, usually, it, not my current one, but but usually, yeah, usually mm. I'm pretty liberal. I would mm. say I'm comfortable in the same way that I'm comfortable like picking a scab. Like it's not good mm. for you know what I mean. Like mm -hmm. if I'm doing it, it's because it's I'm like, what are you fucking? Do you like that Fuck, guy more yeah, than me? Yeah, yeah. I got an infection. I'm gonna get sepsis. I'm yeah. never gonna stop thinking of. I'm like, I know this is bad, but I gotta yeah, know yeah, it's yeah. gonna bother me. This nags at you. I never had the thing about like not liking to hear that my partner had a lot of other partners in college. My girlfriend was like, "You're like number sixty one in terms of guys I fucked," Whoa. and I was like. Cool in the rankings or total? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta go, guys. Um, Sixty-one out of two hundred and eleven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm in the yeah. upper fiftieth percentile. Yeah. Well, sixty per first person that she'd had sex with or whatever. So then, whenever she did say I was doing a good job, I'm like, this is based in science. Mm, <laughs> this, yeah. I, I actually like that. I yeah. like that a lot. I wanted to be based in faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's, I'm a faith-based fuck. You gotta believe I'm good. I'm yeah, good. I won't ask. Don't mm -hmm. ask. Take a yeah. leap. There's of no, fuck. there's no, there's no comfortable number. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm, and I, I don't want any of that swimming around in my. You just, I don't know. All I'm gonna like, do is it's ruminate. Like, it's, it's like a watermelon. You're just like. Yeah, that feels a lot right. of black people I, I like this. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is brought the house down. <laughs> is, oh my god! It, way to land the plane there. Dude. That was brilliant. <laughs> that was good with barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hilarious. <laughs> I, I would say, like, it, when you're in a, a long-term relationship, it just sort of trickles out over time. Mm. You, you know what I mean? Like, eventually, you're just you like mean you the come from the other guys. <laughs> oh, Boom. <geez. laughs> Here, put the thing back. Put up. the thing back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah. A, uh, but I mean, like you just slowly learn. You're like, hey, you want to go eat there? She's like, ah, I don't know. I went on a date with a guy there once, and it was, you're like, mm. it's. I mean, like I don't know if that's a, spit, but like you just get those little nuggets where you're like, oh, okay, all right, fucked. Yeah, there were guys before me. Mm -hmm. Relationships are yeah. not easy. They no. are not no. easy. They're <laughs> we're just quiet. Yeah. Like just, just, <laughs> so All right. Don't say right this. Now. Say just, this. Just, it's the stay away from just that. Start with All right. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Just the technical. Right. We're uh, experiencing let's technical difficulties. Do, 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 do. Will <laughs> she watch? Can she not watch? Can I no. get rid of it? Uh, yeah. No. Pause the Kick podcast. The cameras. I want to talk about the. Centip I mean, let's talk <laughs> about big centipedes. We're like again. fifty yeah. minutes in. The girlfriends do not watch fifty minutes of podcasts unless it's about murder mysteries. Yes. Yeah. I would be in a lot more trouble if girlfriends watch fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I mean, I went, but I, I, I guess it's, it's part of being. I spent five years at a liberal arts college in Portland, Oregon, which is mm. the, just the, the libtard concentric circle bullseye. Yeah. Mm. So I got, I got pretty sex positive there. I got pretty sex positive. Um, I did briefly. I went to, you know, what I mean, I went up, 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 and then mm. I hit a level where now I'm becoming. 
I'm sex negative. But you know no. what I can't? You know what I don't want to hear about? I don't want to hear. I don't want to know about guys over like six three. <laughs> that's that's some, That's where I draw the line. I'm like anybody that can palm a basketball. Yeah, yeah. yeah anyone Get can out palm here. a basketball and just grab my whole girlfriend's pussy. Like I just, yeah. I just don't want <laughs> whoosh, just dunk her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just want to know. You're like, I don't know. What makes me insecure actually is is not other guys, but other women. Because mm, my last few girlfriends dated women right after me, and I have this weird sort of reverse, not even just regular sexism, homophobia, where I'm like, God, the women they know more. Mm. The lesbians know more. They're better at everything, <laughs> and I, I get intimidated by that. Not other guys. I assume other guys are. That's very m- monkey morons, but women, mm. I'm like, fuck, they know. They're that's that's very that's very positive of you because I would mm. say I'm negatively sexist in that, like, I could watch <laughs> a girl make my girlfriend come better than me. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb idiot. Yeah. yeah, it's like iPhones <laughs> and Androids. They're yeah. both phones, but you you pick the one that you want for the job that yeah. you need yeah. at that time. I would yeah, rather. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I would rather my girlfriend fuck a chick and love it. Then my girlfriend fuck a guy and be like, he was way worse than you. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. it didn't mean anything. You were in jail. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Feel, <laughs> I feel so the opposite. Yeah. So the opposite. Uh. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm very much. I'm like, like a girl could not make me mm. very uncomfortable. Well, I've also way. had multiple girlfriends be like, while we're dating, be like, can I hook up with a girl? And I'm like, but that's another person. That's still cheating. That's where you're wrong, okay. Harry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no kidding. As of 1916, that's another person. Yeah. All right. So let's 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 brainstorm. What works? What definitely doesn't work? In a relationship. And by, and by, yeah. And by definitely doesn't work, you don't have to you don't have to go to the vaults mm. and pull out <laughs> pull out the heavy material. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. What works to make? What what works and what doesn't work? I am I am a, I am a, I am a horrendous communicator because no. I've never I've never been like uh, I've never been the Mister Monogamy um, uh, <laughs> Mike just kind of guy until <laughs> until until my my girl now yeah, yeah, yeah like this is the first time that I'm like and even with that we have our problems you know what yeah, I mean yeah but then like even learning the communication style because I, I wasn't I wasn't Mister Relationship guy to know. All right, this kind of communication, mm-hmm. that kind of even talk often. I'm just like, man, you don't, yeah. Don't don't you don't you know? Can't you tell? I, yeah. I bought you, I bought you the little cr- vanilla filled croissant <laughs> thing that you like. Mm-hmm. I love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. How do you, how do you not get it? I bought you two, the <laughs> yeah. chocolate and the the peanut butter and jelly one. Yeah, it's, it's a, a good day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pay attention. <laughs> I uh, I got lucky ish because me and my girl started seeing each other right when lockdowns started so we were like forcibly separated so we had nothing to do but (laughs) communicate because i'm also Mm -hmm. not a great necessarily communicator Mm -hmm. but uh but for like the first year it was like you see each other every month you know what i mean so we had nothing to do but like talk on the phone and do facetime and whatever and get to talk about our feelings so like i feel like this is the first time where it was like I mean, we hooked up and stuff before that, but like yeah. the relationship itself started like a month before. It was courtship, yeah, like yeah. old school courtship. Yeah, so it was a lot of that kind of stuff. Mm. And uh, I like making food for my girlfriend. Like she really likes a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually <laughs> see, you know, women usually make the sandwiches, <laughs> but me, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny no women do like to be hit in bed though <laughs> that's pretty much a rule yeah it's crazy that it's like the norm now yeah mm. yeah 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 if a woman isn't if your one of her eyes doesn't pop out and you got to get it back in with your thumb yeah, oh. you're not doing it right she ain't coming <laughs> yeah <laughs> you're not doing it right <laughs> <laughs> eric's mm. just like so what is it's the hard. address in wisconsin <laughs> what what is what is secret anymore what's hidden what can you not get access to, and what is that? Like, what does that really? What does that really do? It used to be hidden thing. It used to be cover your eyes for this part of the movie. Yeah. And mm. so, so there's none of that now. Yeah. In a lot of ways, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know. Your mind, like, uh, there's still things that are like deep in your psyche and stuff that you don't tell. You're never in Target and you see like 
a two year old with a phone Hold in their on. hand, oh, okay. and their parents are just not paying it, just and you just look and go, oh, oh no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. When you make it to Mars, you are going to cause <laughs> mm-hmm. the revolt. You're going to mm-hmm. be. I wonder about the first. I think about this. If there is stand up comedy in Anchorage, Alaska, there will be on Mars. There will be an open mic circuit on Mars. Mm. As long as it's the United States that colonizes Mars first. Mm. Mm. But if that's I'm what I'm saying. Is it going to be the United States or is it going to be Tesla Corporation? Mm hmm. Because I, 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 I mean, can can America can America say, "Hey, uh, on that ship, you got to put like fifty percent of of government people." Mm-hmm. They can. He's, he's That's, private. I mean, yeah, he's but a that, private company. But at a certain, I mean, like the problem is that like at a certain point, it all just bleeds together into like big money interest. You know what I mean? They like, would have to make legislation that says, "Hey," and as soon as America makes legislation that we own. X amount of Mars and every other country with a, a nuke is going to be no 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 we we get mm-hmm. a chunk of that and I, I want to say isn't there like a treaty now or something that you, outer space is its own thing? I think there's a moratorium on claiming claiming land probably there's maritime fucking laws you can't claim certain parts of the ocean and whatnot. Antarctica yeah. and stuff but I mean yeah. I think it'll be like my guess is it'll be kind of it's not that much different. I mean, it's way different, but I think it'll be like, I mean, it's like a driver's license where it's like, yeah, if you want to launch stuff into space, you're going to need some sort of licensure from the government. Mm-hmm. And so from that point of view, like it, it wouldn't be, I, to me, it's not a crazy jump to be like, okay, well, if you're going to send somebody to Mars, you got to have at least one say, you know, like whatever mm-hmm. OSHA regulator to make sure that the thing is that, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. like. Something's going to tie <clears throat> something that big to government because that always is what happens. Sure. Just it's it's never not like even when like Columbus discovered a, discovered America or whatever it was funded by like mm. he's a private guy on a ship but it's like the yeah. exploration was funded by the government. Queen mm. Isabel and so all that. So then there's some mm-hmm. like okay well like we'll send you there but when you get there you put the Spanish flag down. You know what I mean? Like yeah. mm-hmm. I think it'll be something like that where it's like all right, you got the rockets, but like, if you want the whatever it is, the computer system to get there, the yeah, yeah the yeah. protection to get through the whatever, like it'll just be get out of the atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, that was yeah. the other thing that scared me about that Tucker Carlson, uh, Vladimir interview, is that he called he called it out. He was like, "Hey, you remember that 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 one time that you put all those sanctions on us and uh, stopped all of our American money, and we put a big middle finger up to you and said, fine, we'll figure it out,' and then we all made." the uh communist avengers together <laughs> and now we don't need your money anymore yeah good job with that america stupid yeah because mm. that really did, did so, so there was that point in time i'm sure you guys already know where you know russia started going at it with ukraine and then america was like all right sanctions we're freezing every russian dignitaries money uh in in any american bank yeah and we're putting tariffs on you our, your your money from us is no good anymore. And they were like, okay, so either we sit here and starve and die, or China, how are you doing over there? Yeah. Oh, Iran, hey, hey how are things? Oh, can we just start mm-hmm. using each other's money now? Yeah? All right, dope. Yeah, I don't know. America's stupid. But if you're another country, if you're in Mexico, and you're looking and you're trading primarily in, in, uh, in dollars... Yeah, and then you saw us just do that. Just say we don't like what you're doing, other country, with your own government and rules. So we're stopping all your money. Then why wouldn't you be like, oh, oh, I didn't know that you could do that. I don't like that because what happens if I feel like doing my own thing with my own country and my own people? You're gonna stop my money. Let me go holler at them. Yeah, I mean it's a risk. It is it's a risk. risk. It's literally happened. What's it called? Bricks. Yeah. But I mean, it remains to be seen, and I don't know one way or the other, but like those countries are going to have to figure out how they then produce a more desirable outcome than America. Because sometimes you can be Mm -hmm. Venezuela and you can have hyperinflation and your money goes to shit. Or like the sanctions that Mm -hmm. were put on Germany after World War One and they were like, people are taking around wheelbarrows full of cash trying to buy groceries. Well, you're could, exactly right, yeah. right? Because we're right now, what is it, thirty-three trillion with the T dollars in debt, something like that. And mm. so, all those other countries have to do is influence another 
four or five major com- countries to say, hey, why don't you stop using it? Hey, look what happens to America if we all just stop using their dollar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, because they are in a lot of debt. And the only way that they're staying afloat is by circulating their money through us. So mm-hmm. if we just say, no, no, thank you, they're going to turn into Brazil. Yeah. And, and fucking a loaf of bread is going to be $12,000. Mm-hmm. Here we're the, there. My we are we are kind of there. But <laughs> my hope is that, that what that does would make the United States opt to be more self sufficient and less of an empirical empire. You know what I mean? Stop trying like if we stop fucking with stuff and started doing more of our like Yeah. There's a way to do it where it's like, okay, we don't have to have our fingers in everybody's pot to be like a viable powerful you know what i mean like mm. britain is kind of an okay example of that where it's like they used to control everything and now they're just kind of a yeah they fuck with us which is still in mm-hmm. point, whatever but like but the other thing the other side of that is that like all the countries might start doing that and then next thing you know they got little fucking cia coups popping like yeah we might go the uh-huh. other way and just keep doing the other thing that we really like doing which mm. is sending like psychopath fucking uh ninjas into other countries yeah. to like you know assassinate their leaders and mm-hmm. bomb their whatever when you cut off stuff. communication then your your mind just starts running wild yeah you make the absolute worst scenario and you're ready to do the the utmost you're ready to do the worst mm-hmm. and then you, you'll hop on the phone sometimes with somebody who's you know enemy or whatever and you're like oh I was making all that up in my head. You're really not that bad. I'm yeah, glad, yeah, yeah. I'm glad we had this seven minute talk that kept us from blowing up the planet. Yeah, yeah yes. yes, which is uh, you know, that's uh, on a podcast I really where it's like it's crazy that like war is still like considered a viable solution to. It's like mm. if you think about like if you describe war to like an alien or whatever, where you're like. Yeah, sometimes we don't know, like, what to do. So we, like, kind of force young men between a certain age to, like, go through the worst experience physically possible. Mm. And whoever has, like, a couple guys left over after that kind of gets to... And you're like, that's an insanely evil and brutal way to, like, Mm. still be, like, processing things after 5,000 or 15,000 years of Mm. humanity or whatever. That is an insane way to process. Could you imagine... Could you imagine... I'm sorry. Could you imagine being, like, the, the quintessential version of an alien that's just a dispassionate computer thinking kind of machine that builds all the like we well we i've been in a wars. relationship for four years yeah. so hey, yeah hey, hi-oh. <laughs> all right uh-huh. wait hold on wait 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 i've always been wanting to do <laughs> i can't believe we've been sitting on that the whole yeah, time no, no, that's amazing <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> but well, nothing fell off the wall when you did that. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can I run to the bathroom and come back? Yeah, please, okay? please. Yeah, maybe if I, I took know. enough Prozac, I would I would do it. But, you know, I... Don't you like kind of getting mad every now and then, Harry? Being sad or just... Uh, you know where it's at? Uh, You'll find it. Yeah. He'll find it. Yeah, I like ma- getting mad and sad. I was thinking about... I want to say about war. I, I've been thinking about war crimes. Not doing Ooh. them, Ooh. but... I think war crimes... It's almost like redundant. I've been trying to because because uh. war because war is like bad, and I almost feel like war crimes occludes or covers up the the basic premise that war is always bad. Because it seems like every war that's been happening in the global theater, there are war crimes, and I'm like, yeah, because it's really it's murdering people. Right. It's, it's it's bad. Do you think it's not necessary? Well, I think the things that are war crimes are condemnable, like ethnic cleansing and genocide and, you know, everything in the Geneva Convention is stuff that we sh- is wrong to do. But so is all the other stuff mm. that isn't wrong to do. Yeah. So, except for, like, uh, or that isn't against, the, except for, like, I guess, basic self-defense. So it's, it seems like the term war crime... It, it seems it's redundant. It it's is it's a like bit saying redundant. yucky, no, no, sexual assault or yeah, like yeah, yeah, bad, yeah. bad racism or something. Yeah. It's like, well, it's, it's already no good. It's already out. At the at the heart, at the heart, which I've never been to war. At the heart of war, right? Is is it is it? Hey, I think this way, and I think we should do this. And then the other person goes, I I don't agree. Mm-hmm. We should all do this. 
And all right, no, but somebody has to be in charge here, and that's going to be me. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I, I should be in charge. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we're done talking? Yeah, we're done talking. How are we going to figure this out? Yes, we're going to have to fight. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's always like, oh, no, we're not going to exist anymore unless this happens. Like our whole the, the power structure will yeah. fail or our culture will be destroyed or we will be killed. It's, yeah. always, it's always an existential threat. And and then yeah, two different guys pop up. And and, and I don't think, I don't think necessarily me and you should understand it, right? Because I have to be a comic. I don't have a choice. It's in, it's in like my my bones, right? Mm-hmm. But there's somebody out there that has to be a UFC fighter, and there's mm-hmm. somebody out there that has to be a leader, mm-hmm. and there's somebody out there that has to be a general. And then just as much as they couldn't understand why I would went out there and and go, hey, what's the deal with dating? Like, I can't understand why they're like, "Uh, I disagree with that guy. I'm going to shoot him in the face. Yeah, I've got to I've got to rule the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's definitely those people out there that are really like. I mean, Kanye West, born in a different household, is running for whatever. He tried to run for for president president and whatnot. He did. He did run. Yeah. But if if you take his mentality and his brain and put it in somebody else that grew up in a different place with different influences, then he's he's probably the kind of megalomaniac that makes it pretty far. I think so. I think so. We were talking about how I think war crimes is a redundant term hmm. because and I asked crimes are already bad. And I asked, it's bad, yes, but is it unnecessary? I mean, if you're if you're gonna have war, you should make it as not evil as possible. I get like I I guess I admire mm-hmm. like I admire the attempt to make it not like mm. okay, well you can dress up like a woman and sneak into their camp and shoot them when they, you're like, all right, that's kind of a good plan, <laughs> like yeah. thing to set. Nice, but, nice. But yeah. it, but I think the to your point, it's like. Yeah, if you have to make rules about how you do it, then shouldn't the takeaway be that it should not be done? Like, right. If you're going to be like, all right, you can do it, but it has to be like a good sport. Mm. You know what I mean? You're like, I, I saw I saw one UFC fight a, a, a while. It was long enough ago, but they're fighting. The two guys are fighting, and dude A punches dude B in the face. Hits him right in the like eyeball, Ugh. and the guy that got hit in the eyeball was like, "Ah, ah, ah, stop, stop!" And, and the ref stopped the fight. He was like, "What happened?" He's like, "He hit me in my eye," and he, he was like, "It's, it's, it's a fight." Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the guy's like, "No, no, stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, you don't he understand." Was like, no, ding, ding, ow, yeah, ow. that like really, really hurt. Like this mm-hmm. other stuff hurt, but that like, ouch, ouch. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and and these guys and these guys fighting the UFC, they learn the rules, but I think probably eighty percent, if not higher, of the dudes in the UFC, if you said, "Hey, this is to the death," and there's no rules. I don't see many of them going. All right, I'm. Nah, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure there's some guys that's in there for the sport, but a lot of those guys are driven to it. Like I was saying, like we're driven yeah. to comedy. Like it's it's written in them to to be that. They want to impress other men. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But once you once you're in war, and and no no disrespect, and I can't even get deep on the topic because that's such a particular thing that if you're not a part of it i mean your stupid opinions to go 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 shove them up into grass or something but <laughs> yeah. like oh, if yeah. you're if if you're in what like who are we to monday morning quarterback war bro mm. there are definitely things, people the, i We're mean like, there's things you sh- on paper, there's things you shouldn't do. Patrick Mahomes shouldn't th- throw a play action behind his back in the fourth quarter down by six points. But you know what? I'm not a quarterback, and I'm not scrambling away from a, a six foot three, 287 pound, four percent body fat linebacker that's blitzing. Well, it's not really. It's not being like. It's not saying that like. Like I, if I was put in, if I was conscripted and put into war Mm. and like, you know, I'm cornered in a trench and my choices are like die or to use mustard gas to save myself. Like I could see getting out of that 
and being like, uh, hey, you don't understand what the position that I was in. So how about you don't judge? Sure. But from a if you zoom out a little bit, like it doesn't take I don't think it takes being in war to like look at the footage from Ukraine and be like, this ought not be taking place. Mm -hmm. Like when you see, uh, you know, like, like all the drone stuff is like, you know, because the drones fly oh, over sure. with grenades now and there's hover and you see oh. a guy being like. And yeah. then there, and then it's some guy, you know, back to the previous topic of like, well, he's not. It's not, I'm not breaking a rule. He is an enemy combatant who is yeah, yeah. actively, and the fact that I'm watching him like genuflect and like beg me not to do it doesn't make him not a combatant. It's still within my, whatever. You see him like drop grenades on like two guys who are trying to run an injured guy back to a tank and you're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, man, it all falls within the like whatever. And if you were, if you were to like talk to that Ukrainian guy, he could very well be like, yeah, well, they were like, uh, you know, like I'm in a position where I'm trying to defend my home. Like this is, you yeah. don't understand. What, and you're like, yeah, well on like a micro level, I get it. But, um, I don't think that necessarily invalidates the criticism of being like, yeah, well, let's yeah. try and let's not drop, let's not fly death robots over people. And <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. It's all horrible. And I, I try, I'm trying to stay, I'm trying my best to stay away from judgment. Cause I had to try and put myself mentally in there. You're fighting for the side that you're basically born into. Yeah. But then on top of that, once you cross over, we're 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 regular regular dudes. Yeah. Once you mm -hmm. cross over into taking somebody's life and then being on team mentality, yeah, hey, we're all in this together. If you play on the men's volleyball league in junior high and 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 the Harry on your team <laughs> gets punched in the face, yeah, you might not be a fighter, but the whole squad runs over and starts fighting. You, yeah. you got it, you, and you know whatever you might get, somebody falls on the ground. Oops, I, I kicked him by accident because he was on the ground. Yeah, and the yeah, animal yeah. part of my brain said, "Fucking kick totally. his face." It's, it's so sure. magnetized to my foot right now. Yeah, but once you once you cross over, once once you you're put in a position to take somebody else's life, you're a different person after that. Yeah, mm. totally. Which and I think the decisions is like, I'm, I I can make right now in cold blood on this couch completely removed because somebody else is doing that on my behalf. It's like all right, I I can't even put myself in the the mind state of somebody that's doing that. So yeah. to judge it on top of it is like ooh yeah. But on paper, there's things you can go. Well, I don't think that. Was I, I mean, I think I think the real takeaway is not really the any one individual action it's it's like you can I, and i think like ukraine is it's the same way like vietnam was unique because it was the first one where you had like cam like news people go over it was the first like world war ii oh, yeah, like yeah. every all i'm mean, like you know there's very clear bad guys in world war ii but like there wasn't footage capturing yeah, it's not that clear to me I <laughs> <laughs> weather has been a little off yeah. since then but, yeah. uh, <laughs> but uh, oh, we wanted oh, yeah. a few more pyramids in germany <laughs> no yeah. no absolutely no <laughs> but france really really <laughs> bumped me out yeah yeah, 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 too, yeah yeah access power on my ass um but the, i think the takeaway from seeing the footage now for me is like it's not judging like I could watch it, especially in Ukraine versus Russia, because everyone looks, sounds, and dresses identical. So, like, mm. when I'm I, I'm rooting for whoever's GoPro I'm looking through. Mm. And, like, I might find out after I watch the clip that that was Russia. And even though I'm not, I'm American, so, I, you know, I don't like mm. the Russian, whatever, like, whatever bias you have. You're like, I'm just rooting for whoever I see, like, freaking out in a trench because mm. he's cornered. And, like, yeah. God, I feel uh, like but the yeah. takeaway is, is that uh, when put in those situations... All men will do incredibly brutal things to survive. Yeah, and I I don't judge any one of those guys individually for doing that in that situation because you're you're on your team, you're defending your your people, you whatever. I'm saying that like the takeaway from that, from my point of view, is like every possible measure should be taken from putting anybody in that situation because we have seen how bad it gets oh, when absolutely. you push guys to the brink. And so you're like, whatever it takes to like not put as many men as possible in that position should be, yeah, in yeah. my opinion, like the policy of every government in the world. Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, you just mentioned Vichy France during uh, World War II, but 
Jean Paul Sartre, like the existentialist, he was like super chastising of all the French people who weren't part of the resistance because, mm. you know, a lot of people would say, oh, you can't blame, you know, the, the German people <clears throat> or the French people during that time who were sort of uh, culpable just by being citizens. But he was really big on like ultimate responsibility and mm. being like, as an individual, you do know what's what's right or wrong. Because, uh, like, there is a certain extent to, like, being a conscripted shol- soldier. It's like, man, I can't really judge you. I don't I don't know what your life is, where you came from, like, mm. the pressures that are forcing you. Yeah. But I, I'm sort of an existentialist where, like, there are, I still do, I think I still do hold judgment of people, mm-hmm. even if I don't want to say that I'm loftier and I would do a different thing. You yeah, I'm I mean? reading, uh, whoa, whoa. Hey. Like literally two Off pages at a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm reading. Um, do 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 do. He's trying to Seneca. come up with any book. The Seneca. Hungry Caterpillar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gr- uh, it's uh, he's a Greek philosopher who he's was a like stoic. In, yes, mm-hmm. stoic philosopher, and he was talking to one of his arguments was like, uh, you shouldn't let people criticize, be overly critical of philosophy because they don't live up to their own ideas, and he's mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. Um, you can't. Just because somebody can't reach the perfect ideal that they preach doesn't mean that they're wrong for Mm -hmm. preaching Mm -hmm. the perfect ideal, which I think connects to what you were saying tangentially. I'm reading a book right now. Yeah, that's right. (laughs) When you take it into account, human beings were left to their own devices and have made it up to here without completely annihilating each other. Yeah. We've tried. We've gotten Mm -hmm. decently close. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, But for the simple fact that, I mean, from... Whatever was there a long time ago till now, there's cer- there's still certain laws, values, principles in place. Obviously, th- ask anybody on the street what they think about it. Most are going to be like, it's fucked up. But yeah. for the most part, it's better. I don't want to be anywhere on the planet 500 years ago. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, yeah. I've heard, like, everything seems worse now because you can find out about it. But, like, in terms of the amount of wars, like, mm. we're we're having much less war mm. than we were 500 years ago. Where it's mm-hmm. like everything was smaller city-states. Everything was sort of distur- de- determined by skirmish and yeah. whatever, whatever. So, like, obviously there was, like, a bell curve to that where it's like, well, you get to, like, World War One. Where you still have basically monarchist mentality, but you've combined that with like modern weapons, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you get like the biggest mass murder, whatever of it in World War Two, similar. Mm-hmm. But like, do you think that uh, that what is it, the Duke of what what, what whatever that Duke Arch, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah? Do you think do you think when he was walking out of that diner or whatever the fuck <laughs> mm-hmm. after he avoided this assassination and he saw the the other guy hop out the car. Do you think he heard the Curb Your Enthusiasm music? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, uh, R.I.P. Shout out to Richard Black, man. I just heard the news. Yeah, yeah. The rest in peace, Richard Pryor. That's really sad that he passed. <laughs> Jesus. Today. Yeah. Oh I'll say R.I.P. Arctic Franz Ferdinand. Yeah. <laughs> Died by the black hand. <laughs> black hand. <laughs> Mm, uh, <laughs> tragic. That'd tragic. be cool to live when naming your radical group the Black Hand wasn't the cringiest bullshit you've yeah, ever yeah, heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pl- that's so played yeah. out now. What, but in 19, if Karen was around, yeah. she would have. Yeah, yeah. When a white fight. guy could be the Black Hand, yeah. hell yeah. yeah, yeah, hell yeah. World War One would have never started because they would have got canceled. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like the same man. The black hand. Why? Because it's violent. <laughs> You've got to be PC if you're starting a world war. <laughs> the whole world kind of now, it. isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they're saying also too. I think uh, like America is like at one of its lowest points as far as um, recruitment into the military and whatnot. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I was talking about it recently. Uh, That's might have might have been mm-hmm. on a previous episode. Like this is going to be one of the crazier years. <laughs> In our lifetime, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not only it's our election; it's a major. It's like some weird, it's some weird lineup with a, a, a majority of other countries are having elections at the same time. February twenty ninth is coming up. That's pretty wacky. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Leap, yeah. leap year. Yeah. What's there, a bunch of other mm. countries are having elections as well? I, I am definitely Jamal. Uh, pop this shit up on <laughs> the screen. Yeah. Um, but I want to. That's s- Apu again. God yeah, damn. Yeah. What you- mm-hmm. I know, I know, Russia's in there. I want to say like Mexico, like Brazil, uh, um, freaking maybe Canada or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. but it's it's like a. Di- it's not only just like the little. Nobody cares countries, but it's like a decent amount of the the countries that have influence and yeah can make a can make mm-hmm. shit happen are all the same year. Killing but let alone any of them, ours is going to be off the chain. Interestingly, yeah. I feel more apathetic than ever about the national yeah. election. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I that might be one of the things that gives me like a little bit of hope is that people seem to be not giving a fuck about politics as much, which. Sounds yeah. bad, but I think it's actually yeah. kind of good. I feel where it's like, like it's the calm before the storm. You think so? Mm-hmm. They're not. They, they haven't started the the the, the WWE level <laughs> uh, WrestleMania promo mm-hmm. videos yet to start getting people riled up. You haven't seen the little signs in people's yards. It's not hot outside. Yeah, but don't yet. you feel like there's more no people who, than stickers. ever who are like, yeah, man, I just don't follow politics. It's just gotten too crazy for me. Uh, they're about to. You they're like, about to make. They're going to sure get the people. Can't like, avoid it. Because uh, short term memories, man, it bleeds yeah. into our world. Yeah, and not on Politics the funny side. Fucking ruins comedy every election year. Every election year since the last two. But mm. like, it used to be like it used to be kind of fun because it'd be like, I wonder what the Daily yeah, Show is yeah, gonna yeah. do this year for the election cycle or mm-hmm. whatever. And now, dude. And now it's gonna be a college freshman I got that a- started comedy just to give you their political yeah. point of view. Yeah, yeah. I, it, I guess it's, it's because either way, it's probably going to be a guy we already had. Yeah. That, you know, I think that's right. that's what happens when a, you know, Paul, it'd be interesting if a politician have two non-consecutive terms for the first time since I think Cleveland. But I think part of that makes it seem so stale. Yeah. Like there's mm. no real hope for like a sexy, you know, I want to, I want to Lyndon B. Johnson who he had a massive dick that he would show <laughs> up. I want some like young, yeah, he was sending little, the pics to yeah, his buddies. Young, he big was doing, dick trans guy coming in. <laughs> just like, fuck yeah, dude, I'm going to fix everything. But you want a Ross Perot in there, huh? I want a Ross Perot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I want a hog Perot, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess, I guess that's right. why I, I feel sort of, I don't know if it's apathy, but I'm like, ah, it's just going to be one of these guys and we, we got through both of these guys in a very basic way, not like yeah. a positive mm-hmm. way. So I'm like, I yeah, we made it through the yeah. fact that, it, yeah, it's frustrating when people are like, here comes the end. And you're like, I heard that for the last eight. It's the same thing with the, Oh, here yeah. she comes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where it's everything is like, if you're still, if you're still freaking out about it because you think that the other side is what is going to make mm. things go crazy. You're like, it's not the fact that like, both sides unanimously want like several foreign mm-hmm. wars going at all time. You're like, mm-hmm. if yeah. what freaks you out is like, oh my god, the guy who's going to be engaging us in war, like a covert war with Yemen, is not going to be like saying things in a PC way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or if you're like, yeah, the guy who's going to be sending the two billion dollars to other countries for missiles is not going to be like he doesn't believe in traditional marriage. It's, it's- like. You're like, mm-hmm. well, how are you worried about that? Like, you should be so freaked out by the fact that it literally does not matter who takes the next election, like, and now, in terms of and, policy. And, and I think that's probably the consensus against people like us that, that are trying to not hedge, but, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a, a person that's, I'm just looking for hypocrisy in everything. So yeah. I can't be mm, too sure. I'm too cynical to like just be a staunch anything. Yeah. But for those people out there's certain people, there's 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 like the emotional attachment and the ready to turn up for whatever they choose. I mean it's 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 on a level with saying like Eminem's the greatest rapper. Like you you cannot not feel something and certain people are <laughs> ready to die behind it you know yeah it's the exact same like when oj uh was not guilty mm-hmm. it's that but yeah. encapsulated in in who are you voting and whoever was just on tv whoever's making the rounds on socials the next person you talk to a vast majority of the people that you talk to they're not going to have a logical response they're going to have an emotional response yeah 
yeah. and they're just gonna say they're they're yeah. not gonna they're gonna invite themselves to to the they're gonna in, here's my opinion yeah and you should share it because I'm obviously right about where I'm standing in history yeah and then as soon as they start to like feel it not on you yeah hold on wait are you not yeah you're yeah. not. You're not part you of the You didn't tribe. drink the juice? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it's uncomfortable. Yeah. I, I have the same, now that, you're, now that we're talking about it, I have the same opinion towards politics that I do to war, which is like, we've seen what happens when people take it to the extreme, so we should mm-hmm. avoid yeah. it. And I want white guys to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think girls are ready. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's funny <laughs> uh, Babe, I would love a woman president You guys just aren't there yet <laughs> Let's start with woman child soldiers yeah. Okay? Like you guys can have your own government It'll be like separate But it'll be equally oh fun <laughs> Hasbro releases Barbie Congress <laughs> Oh, you guys! Uh, you guys allowed abortions today. <laughs> I, That's nice. I, I got you the new Senate by <laughs> Fisher Price. <laughs> if little plastic pull, gavel. <laughs> <laughs> if you pull the cord on the back of the doll, it defends its husband going to Epstein Island. I did. <laughs> oh, oh. Now, what's up with that? How many people? That's a great question. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to Epstein Island, what up with that? Yeah. What's up with that? Was it is, is little Saint sketch? James for sale? Mm. That that's what I wonder. Is the island for sale? Does Epstein still own it? Did it get passed down? You the know, next of is, it, is it just there are people be a sandals in, there, resort soon? There's high visibility uh, people of 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 note and high social status that are being tried, convicted. Charged. I mean, not not just one. There's mm-hmm. an obvious one recently, but there's a, a slew of them that are happening all over. Yeah, this this freaking list. Mm-hmm. They've been they've been teasing it like the, like the new Dune movie. Yeah, like just say, uh, hey, little Aww. suggestions. Hey, we we got the list. We're gonna put a few names out. <laughs> Some of the names <laughs> aren't going out yet. Isn't it, isn't it out? Isn't it done? It was it like was the court re- document. It was released with like thirty names withheld or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was three. And even yeah, for yeah. the ones that are really, why why am I not tuned into that trial every single day? Yeah, that's not yeah. being like. Why is that not like on broadcast. the? Yeah, on the thing. Some of them don't are they so have silly. the other girl like locked up? Why? Wha- yeah. Yeah. How is this so under the radar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. It almost huh. makes you think like somebody's hiding something. Mm. Yeah. I, I got this hilarious. I get texts from really passive aggressive texts from. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's like, <laughs> dude, Obama. you were there too. <laughs> yeah. Um, from the Democratic Party. And mm. the, one of the ones that I've gotten <laughs> twice, which is hilarious, is like, are you really going to ignore Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton? I'm like, do you want me paying attention to Bill Clinton right now? <laughs> I think you, you should have me ignore Billy. <laughs> yeah, you want me to tune in to what yeah, he's up to? You want me to get the magnifying glass and the Sherlock Holmes hat out <laughs> for, for William? Yeah. Like something like I, I wonder if, if a lot of the conspiracies are really just hiding in plain sight. Ye- yes, I don't know. I mean, I guess it depends. Like, I like hiding like the answers are there. No one's looking into it. You mean they're like or? they're so obvious that it, it they're hard to believe. Yeah, my instinct mm-hmm. is always that it's like less nefarious than it is. Yeah, stupid. You know what I mean? It's like. This guy, I mean, clearly, I mean, obviously Epstein Island is nefarious by definition. Sure. But it's like, uh, you know, when you see like whatever, Stephen Hawking is like a good example where it's like, did they really need to get something on Stephen Hawking to like blackmail? Or is it like the guy who runs this island also likes to get like famous people in his circle? So we just. Oh, yeah, of course. But now that you think about it, you get Stephen Hawking and then it. Basically control well, math they, and physics. They mm-hmm. drug that man's wheels through the mud, and he's dead. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, there's... And I've been part of that. There's some, like. other, <laughs> <laughs> there's some other big-name players that you just assume... Yeah. Are, well, are, yeah, are they're like, we'll put out the guy who's you dead I mean? now because we'd much rather you focus on him than... Yeah. 
the congressman. Yeah. Why are yeah. you telling me Smokey from Friday was on that plane? Are there? Is there not <laughs> other yeah, yeah. people? Is there no one actionable here? That Nobody we can... else that yeah. you could talk about? Possibly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe bring it up. So, who? I'm um, pardon me. Who was there? Uh, 27 times confirmed in the logbook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Yeah. It's a, a bizarre. And that's what I mean, like by the conspiracy, like it's hiding in plain sight, like to the fact that it's just not being reported. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, this is what I think is like the most tragic thing or whatever, because like this is I feel like Americans have a very it's it resembles China and Russia in the attitude of like, mm. what are you going to do? That's just what people in power do, where it's like, mm. you know, you see interviews with like Russians and they're like. Yep, Vladimir is Putin president. Yeah, you don't yeah. you don't want to run against that guy. Yeah. Bad things, and they're like they're making a joke out of it because it's like, what are you, what are you gonna do? There's no yeah. you're up yeah. against it to the point where you're like, if I say something, it's gonna be my ass on the. And mm-hmm. I feel like mm-hmm. Americans have that attitude now towards. I mean, Epstein list is a great example, but to a lot of things where you're like, yeah, man, I have no I I don't even know who to ask, and if I found out, I don't know who to tell. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like yeah. So what do we even do? I guess we'll just focus on like stand up comedy. Stand up comedy. Yeah. yeah. I guess I'll just vote between whether or not like my this guy's going to make my taxes twenty seven percent or thirty percent. You're like, I'm down to these two choices, and I can only mm-hmm. yeah. I'll just can, I'll just vote for whoever gives me three percent more money or whatever. No, you're right. Like some of them, like our our country is a little bit more finesse, and then other countries are. Are force. It's in your face. It's pa- like passive aggressive versus aggressive because ag- yeah. I mean this year is an election year for Russia. But yeah. you just have like what was his name? Prigozhin, the yeah. guy that was in charge of that mercenary group. And yeah. then they oh, yeah. were like, they were like, eh, maybe we should march against Moscow and mm-hmm. and change the way this government operates. And uh, oops, like nah, never mind. Hey, my bad, Putin. I was I was just playing. I wasn't mm-hmm. gonna try and uh, throw a coup. And and whatever, like, are we are we friends again? And he was like, oh, of course, of course, yeah, of course, and we, we are great friends. Uh, th- th- hey, have 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 a great flight, uh, yes. <laughs> perfect flight on on your plane. Here's oh. this, key. here's the cake. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh no, the candle is plane, blinking. Plane yeah. fall fall go boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah And yeah. then they like Dude. bulldoze, they bulldoze the crash site like the like hours later. Yeah. And then America was like, hey, wait, we were coming over there to do an investigation. Oh, you you know what? It was we a just, mess. We it bulldozed it. That's also hilarious. My like, bad. Where it's just like, oh yeah, you guys were coming over to investigate. Oh no, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoa, yeah. were you guys whoa. gonna find something out and <laughs> get us in trouble? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you were gonna get us in yeah, trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Craziest thing you've heard of Captain Sully? Same, did, same. Yeah, yeah, did yeah, you yeah. hear? Uh-huh. I mean, like, uh, I just talked about this on a podcast yesterday. Just a fucking, Russian goose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> The uh, yeah. <laughs> the Russian pilot, the uh, helicopter pilot who defected to Ukraine, oh. he like got, you know, he, he radioed Ukraine. It was like, I want to. And they instructed him. He flew his helicopter over and landed and defected. Uh, nice. Found shot to death in a garage in a remote village in Spain. Awesome. They set him up with a fucking, you know, get out of here. Go lay low in a fishing village in fucking yeah. España. Ooh. That's some James Bond level sh- Like, yeah, you think awesome. you're, you're like, you know, you grew a mustache. His girlfriend found them. Do you know Ooh, uh, he, he and his girl thought that they were like out of it? Do you know about Rudolf they Hess? Mm. He was a high ranking member of the, the Nazi guy, the Nazi from, party. He defected yeah. and went to Scotland and uh. tried to be like, hey. Whoa, let's call Whoa. it quits. Reckons it Deutsch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they. Um, arrested him they're like you are so still accountable and he's like fuck <laughs> and they put him in this prison that he was the only member of at one point in i think it was, it was in between east and west berlin or like right on the border and there were four different countries guarding him and it was just this one guy uh, by by the end of it yeah because my mm. my grandfather was stationed in uh West Berlin around that time, so he was like part of that. But yeah, four countries guarding one man. That's pretty James Bond. Too. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. it's pretty sick. Yeah, espionage is tough, man. Because if you're a sp- if you defect from another country, if and you come over to if if you leave that basketball team, our rival, and then you come over to p- 
play for our team. You were just dunking on me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are Balls you sure to you the don't? Face. Are you sure you don't? <laughs> are you sure you just don't want to learn our plays and then go back, back to yeah. your yeah, team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fucking take this guy to Spain and shoot him. <laughs> yeah. Smelt your nuts. Dumb I hated face. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, uh, Oh, uh, we got D. What do you gentlemen have coming up? Uh, Doing so basketball crimes. <laughs> um, yeah. What do I got coming up? I've got um, subterranean comedy. Subterranean on, comedy, you sub-t-comedy say? Comedy mm-hmm. on March 18th. March 18th, <laughs> you say, at the subterranean lounge? That's correct. Mm-hmm. That's correct. It's in the heart of Wicker Park? Hmm? In the heart of Wicker, the beating heart of Wicker <laughs> Park. <laughs> and uh, Speaking of which, speaking of which, uh, uh, I just got a whole bunch of texts from you know who about you know what. So after we get off the uh, little thingamajig, we could talk about the Wichamacall. About the JWS. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's dope. That's dope. Um, uh, yeah, hell yeah. And then you got. Did you say you're on other podcasts? Or you have other. You have other yeah. shows as well. Yeah, um, uh, you can find me at Harry underscore VJJ, and then uh, I have a comedy grief podcast which is more fun than it sounds uh <laughs> dead parents club dot rip on instagram you can find us there and uh it's about what you think it's about yeah. it's about what you think it's about nice. the world will end my father died <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> me yeah uh, good, good night akron ohio <laughs> good night vancouver yeah uh, I'll be. I'm so I'm doing the roast tournament this month. So how has that been going? All right. So quick sidebar before we all get all the way officially out of here because you are a beast on the roast stage. Oh, right? that's very kind. Yeah, I, I'm feeling a little underprepared for this one. So knock on wood. I think yeah. I got it for the first round. But uh, I haven't done one since Austin. But I did one at the mothership mm. and uh, came out on top. Um, Were you so. out there with Kaylee? No, that was uh, I was out there a couple months before. Okay, a couple months ago. Did your did your um, Austin one come out already? No, I don't think that one's coming out. Mm. I don't know if the, I, like I don't know what the setup in Austin is. But, okay. Um, and were they? Because I've heard I've heard varying stories. But was it like all right? Hey, ooh, I'm in the I'm in the mothership. Hey, things went well, and they were like, yeah, whatever, get the fuck out of here. My roast at the mothership was not super fun. So I don't think that they paid attention one way or the other, like mothership wise. I mean, like I was proud of all my jokes and I think I kind of had the set of the like the first the first oh, roast okay. bombed. And so ah. our roast was kind of the like dig them back. up. Yeah, we're them getting them zero. there. Like, yeah, this is yeah, good. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, it was it was not like a fun roast. It was a passable mm. roast. So I think. uh I don't know if I would be the person that like the mothership was very cool to be in yeah. and like packed and neat. But it, like of all the stuff that I did in Austin, that one was more like just more high stress, oh. low reward just because of what the wow. position that we ended up in. Mm. Um, it was it was it has work. nothing to do with the club itself. It was just mm. this, the way like first show bombed. And the audience was kind of like, oh, fuck, is it, you know, we guys have all been there on a show yeah, before yeah, where the yeah. audience is like, fuck, is this all going to suck? Yeah, and then you spend yeah, your whole yeah. set being like, it's not all going to suck. Yeah, it's, some yeah, of it's going to be guys. fun. Here we go. <laughs> We're in this together. Um, so, uh, yeah, but I mean, like, it's it's cool. And I will say that the Austin scene rips like that whole city yeah, is yeah. like. I, I was kind of half hoping to get there and be like, it does not deserve all the hype. It's getting it. Mm. I mean, like uh, you hit some other gigs while you're out there. I hit a bunch, and uh, it was so, so it's like that. They it, they got it, like a scene, scene, scene. They got a scene, scene, scene. They got a. Uh, I would like if I was talking to somebody in in North Carolina, and they were like, "Should I move to Chicago or Austin?" I'd be like, "Go to Austin right now." Oh wow! Uh, it's all nice and fresh. It has that new car smell. It feels like Chicago felt when I moved here, where it was just like. Mm. It's got the feeling of like freshman year of college. Everyone's in from out of town. Everyone's excited ah. to meet everybody. The filtration system, like there's no bullshit on the shows where you're like, what the fuck is that person doing here? They suck. They got mm. a favor. Why are they here? Is it because they book another show? Mm. Like every show was like, even if it wasn't your favorite comic, you're like, I, I see why you booked them on this. It makes mm. sense. And it's got its own like downsides in that there's people who move there specifically because they're like, I'm too edgy for my hometown. I gotta gotcha. go. You know what I mean? Like, but I'll oh, take I'll mm-hmm. take that over 
overly pleased. Like if you're going to make me yeah, choose yeah. between the two, I'd rather go to a place where everyone's like saying slurs because they feel edgy. But at least I know I'm not going to be judged for my mm. stuff as opposed like it's the kind of a it's a false dichotomy because you don't have to go too far either way, whatever. Is it good but, networking? Everybody's decent, dude, enough decently cool people. Yeah, I can't say enough good things about just how much fun I had nice. on the shows there. Where it's like, <laughs> like if you met somebody else on a show, the chance will chances are at least fifty percent they have one to two other shows ah, that night. You know what I mean? Got you. And you're like, it's just that cool feeling of bouncing around, busy, fun people from New York, people from L.A., whatever, um, and even the shows that weren't super good we're still fun you know what i mean mm. also i'm sort of biased because i've been in chicago too long and when you go to a new place you're like i'm gonna run my best 10 minutes and like show yeah, off and everyone's yeah, gonna yeah, think yeah. i'm cool no one's tired of my shit yet um anyway and that was a real just, real then, side and then note just the thing. whole future country of texas yeah to yeah, have a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah the comedy and I, mothership blasting so, off <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that's gonna be who colonizes uh-huh. mars <laughs> Rog- <laughs> rogania rogania yeah. exactly we didn't have to print our guns partner we brought them with us <laughs> <laughs> And Philippines can come too. Yeah. I like how they do things. Most of the eagles died <laughs> on transport, but we had a few. We got a few. <laughs> the hardy ones survived. <laughs> we got yeah. some Irish breeding bitches too. <laughs> you was, see got, what fireworks do in this atmosphere. <laughs> um, and who knows if it'll stay like that forever? But right now, it's pot. Like wild, it, wild it's west. getting the hype of. Yeah. The hype is deserved. I mean, like oh, I, nice. I do not think that it is the comedy mecca. I think New York remains the undisputed. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's where you gotta have tenure for that. Yes, yeah, yeah. New York remains the. If you're gonna go to a place and like lay flowers on the grave of, like, you know, yeah, like a big yeah, yeah. mecca, mecca is New York. But like, short of that, it is actually a really legit place to be yeah, yeah, yeah. doing it right now. It's the LeBron James of comedy. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's uh yeah, the Michael Jordan to the LeBron. On Cleveland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's it's uh worth a visit or yeah, I, know, I know New York is still the top cuz they will not uh they will not book me in New York City. <laughs> so that, that's how I know. Yes. You guys are good. Yeah. Uh, the fact that I could go to Austin and line up 12 shows goes to show it's not quite at the they're not turning people away yeah. yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, how can they find you? Uh, at two bike Stevens, uh, come to the roast and I'll be featuring at Zany's 14, 15, 16, the old okay. town Zany's for column to row, which I'm very excited okay. about. Have you started your next season for your podcast? Uh, still season one, but okay. oh yes. Turnip and stone. Thank you for reminding yeah, yeah. me is, uh, back from our elongated holiday hibernation <laughs> All right. and uh, new apps are coming out. We just recorded with uh, Stephanie Robertson and Mark McPartland last night. Okay. Hell two yeah. hours. So it's coming out in two parts, but it was, uh, it was one of the most fun ones we've recorded so far. So Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. Check out at turnip and stone and at two bike Stevens for my personal Oh yeah, um, our good man Jamal is gonna throw up all of that uh, stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so make sure you're clicking and liking and sharing and subscribing. Uh, make sure that you're hitting the thing over there, or up there, or down there, uh, so that you can uh, also uh, help out the channel. Really appreciate it. Appreciate you guys, and I hope you enjoy the content. These these dudes are dope. And uh, I'm Mike Knight Comedy on all the things. And it's been a real rap podcast. Love you guys. Wow, peace. Oh.